Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I am going to be telling you what VPS hosting is, as well as when you should buy it, and what services you should buy it from. Now, before we do get into today's video, just a reminder to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload. Also, I will leave a link to three of my favorite VPS hosting providers in the description below, so you can check them out if you would like to receive special discounts. And now let's get into the video. Now the first thing you need to understand is what VPS hosting is. VPS or virtual private server hosting is essentially a subcategory of hosting that allows you to have your own virtual private server on a network or in a data center. What this basically means is that you will have your own chunk of the data center where you can install your own operating system and run your own server which is entirely virtual. Think of it this way, think of it as having your own computer and running a server off of that, except that computer which you're running the server off of isn't actually a physical computer, but instead is entirely virtual. It's basically a virtual machine, but it's specifically for servers, so it is a virtual private server. Now these virtual private servers are priced quite a bit higher than hosting like shared hosting, but they do come with their own benefits. For one, customizability. If you have a virtual private server, you can customize it much easier and much more than shared hosting. When you have shared hosting, you're essentially sharing a little slot on a server and they usually don't let you access anything except for the cPanel and in some cases not even that. With VPS hosting, however, you can basically customize every single aspect of it from your own server because that's what it is, your own server. Now another benefit of virtual private server hosting is that usually you will have a dedicated amount of resources for your website. What this could be is like one core CPU, one gigabyte RAM. Now usually it's a lot more than that admittedly, but you will have assigned values for your hosting plan when you do buy a VPS plan. Virtual private servers are very good and I definitely recommend them as kind of the next logical step up from a shared hosting plan. Virtual private servers are kind of a hybrid between shared hosting and dedicated hosting entirely. Dedicated hosting of course being a server you have entirely to yourself. Virtual private servers fit that nice little hybrid between these two hosting types. So usually I recommend them to customers who want a better server than shared hosting because shared hosting although it is the cheapest and it is still very good, it can slow down and bog down sometimes. So I usually recommend this as the next step up for your hosting plan. Now, if you do wanna check out some really good virtual private servers at a special discount, go ahead and head down to my link in the description where I will have my top three VPS hosts linked for 2021. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.